Good morning, YouTube fam. It's your boy, Team Solid Fitness. How you doing this morning? Praising the Lord from whom all blessings flow for life, health, and strength. Just want to say, everybody, what y'all think about the playoffs lately? So the Clippers and the go and the excuse me the Denver Nuggets are right, have a tied series. Like it's gonna probably go down and end up being six games. So should be very interesting. But I want to talk about the Milwaukee Bucks. It looks like, well, like I told you. I'm just gonna tell you right now. It's gonna be a sweep. Let me tell you something. Chris Middleton ain't got no dog. Eric Bledsoe ain't got no dog. They have nobody on, uh, on the front line with Giannis on the bench that's going to take over and uh, bring them back. It's over. It's over. And this fourth game, I'm going to tell you this. They may not uh, let the Heat have the win, but they're going to probably scratch and crawl to the best of their ability, come out with lots of firepower and try, but in the end, they're going to lose. And if they do get one game, they're losing five. So they're going to end up losing. In the Toronto and Boston series, it's going to be a very competitive series. But the thing is, Boston has to realize is, <clears throat> you know, Toronto is a very good team. They're a very well put together team. You can't sleep on them. And like I told you, Boston can still win the series because the Boston has, they have Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown. They have Kemba. They got Gordon Hayward. They have other scores. They have Marcus Smart on the bench and a couple other solid fellas coming off the bench so they can still win the series but they have they must take this series seriously because if they don't they're gonna be going home and then and guess what toronto we're gonna be waving bye bye to them you know no no dame lillard but guess what they better take it serious and like i told you <clears throat> this is gonna be the time jason tatum needs to take over jason tatum needs to basically put their foot on their necks because, you know, Pascal Siakam has not had a good game. And, you know, if you're a Boston Celtics fan, if, you, if, you, if you're a Boston Celtics, if you're, if, you're, if you're a player for the Boston Celtics, you want to make sure he doesn't get any kind of rhythm. Because if Pascal Siakam gets in any kind of rhythm, they're in trouble. They're in major trouble. Because the, the Toronto Raptors are going to scrap and fight to get back to the finals. But Boston, they can beat them. But they have, they have, they have to play Boston Celtics basketball. It's the same thing with the Lakers. The Lakers can beat the Houston Rockets, but the Houston Rockets are not going to give them the, the win. The Lakers got to stop all that nonsense. If the Lakers play with this nonsense that they played in Game One, they'll be out in five. And guess what? They'll get blown out probably 15 to 20 points each game they play with this nonsense. If they don't play, like I told you, and let me tell you something too. If, cause I'm a, like I say, if you're a Laker fan like me, if the Lakers get beaten in five games, Anthony Davis could could possibly and free agency go to the Warriors. You don't want that. You want him. You want to win, and you want to get to the finals and win that championship. But you want to get past this round, so he resigns. Because if they go out like that, AD's leaving. He's gone. He's gone. Just put it to you, period, like that. He's gone. And AD knows instantly if he goes to somewhere like, let's say, for example, he goes to Miami or somewhere, he knows he's going to instantly be in the finals. And the Lakers, don't, we don't need that happening at all. And getting back to the Giannis situation before I finish up this video, let's be honest here, Giannis is going to leave... The Bill Monkey Bugs. Alright, like, share, subscribe. Bye.